What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing Dawn Wing Necrozma in Regulation G. So guys, if you haven't checked out my previous video, we used Dust Main Necrozma and that thing was hitting like a truck. Now we're using Dawn Wing Necrozma in this Trick Room team. Looking amazing, but Necrozma over here is rocking Prism Armor just like its counterpart, alongside with the Power Herb as item. We're pairing up Power Herb with Meteor Beam to get off some big time damage, and more importantly, a special attack boost. Furthermore, Necrozma has Trick Room, Moon Geist Beam, and Expanded Force for an amazing moveset. We have Expanded Force with a second frame with the DD, and then Moon Geist Beam, nice big time stab damage move. Can't really go wrong with this moveset right here. But like I said, this is a Trick Room team, so it's featuring a bunch of other Trick Room Pokemon, such as Ursula, Luna, and Torkoal. You guys already know the deal with those Pokemon, they can do some crazy damage within that Trick Room. Furthermore, to pair up with the Torkoal, we got Logan. We can go into Air for you, we can just double our speed with Chlorophyll in the Sun, and go either way with that. Our final two Pokemon going to be indeed starting at that one slot with Psychic Surge and Psychic Seize. This Pokemon can also pop Trick Room, but it can also redirect moves with Follow Me and help big time damage with Helping Hand. Our final Pokemon is going to be Sharpness Scope Lens Glade with Psycho Cut, Sacred Sword, Leaf Blade, and it also has Wide Guard. Wide Guard can come in clutch, especially up against Kyogre teams or even Groudon teams when they're just spamming double hitting moves. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Dawn Wings Necrozma. We're going up against a Zacian team here in match number one, and we're also going up against a Co-Star Flamigo. Co-Star Flamigo copied the stat changes of allied Pokemon, so we're going to have to watch out for that considering they have two contrary Pokemon with Malamar and Enamor. So that could definitely get scary, but what we want to do here is pop Trick Room and really start to get after it. So I am going to probably lean across me here and maybe just try to go for a Meteor Beam, getting off some big time damage, and furthermore, getting that special attack boost. And then we want to go into a Trick Room setter, whether it be Indeedy, probably most likely Indeedy, considering they have no psychic terrain. And yeah, it's definitely my best bet. But yeah, we have to watch out for Malamar a little bit. It is part dark typing. So that does get a little scary, but I think we're fine with this. I really do. We could just go Torkoal in the back end alongside with Logan for late game. I think that's our best bet. They have no way of weather control either. So bringing out Torkoal inside that Trick Room, and when Trick Room ends, Logan can really just thrive out there, outspeeding pretty much everybody on the opposing team. We love it. We love it. But Necrozma getting in for it today, looking to do just as good as his counterpart did in the last video. Like I said, if you guys haven't checked that out, it's definitely worth watching. We went crazy with uh. Dusk main, right? Yeah, I get the I get the names mixed up. We got we went crazy with Dusk main Necrozma in the last video, dominating with that. But they're gonna end up going into these two little boogers, which is kind of annoying. Zacian and Malamar. So this thing's gonna get a nice big time attack boost. Um, Psychic Surge is gonna fly. So no first turn priority is actually really good for us. Um, dark moves are looking rather scary, so I might want to Terrasize and DB. I do have the Psychic Seeds though, but that's only for special defense, and both these guys are physical attacking. But you know what? We're just going to go follow me Trick Room on this side. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to go follow me Trick Room. That's going to be the play all day here. Not the only one. We're just going to play it safe. But that's what's so good about this lead. If I want to start attacking with our Necrozma, I can. But if I want to just go for follow me instead of Trick Room that way, it works perfectly. So there's the follow me. Nice Slash going to follow through here. And indeed, he's going to drop out here, which I don't mind at all. I do not mind one bit. Because now I get to bring out the lovely Turtle in full turns of Trick Room. Full turns. The turtle is here, and they can't use first turn priority. And I could go for expanding force fight, but I'd rather go for meteor beam. So I'm gonna swap into Torkoal here, and we're just gonna look this. Just start spamming, right? Eruptions, expanded forces. I'd rather use a uh, meteor beam first and foremost here. So I'm gonna double down with meteor beam. I'm gonna go meteor beam, and I'm just gonna go with eruption. The eruption should take out. It should take out Zassian, no problem, right? Unless he terrestrializes it. Which he's terrestrializing somebody. This is most likely Zacian. So we're hoping Eruption could just take out Malamar. That could be good. Because then Moon. Um, oh, yeah. Because then Meteor Beam could just slide over to that. Ooh, yeah. I mean, honestly, Eruption still might just KO him. Let's see. Maybe I should terrestrialize. But there goes the Eruption in the sun. How much damage are we doing? You live on one and the other one sashed i thought i thought like since we were on the casual ladder i thought they were just both using sash but that is insane they both survived on the same amount of hp 
A little absurd. Definitely don't like that. Definitely don't like that. But now Close Combat's gonna fly here. And that's totally fine because Torkoal's gonna be able to soak. And furthermore, I'm plus one on special attack and I could just spam expand your force. But that is just absurd. What what is that? Both their attack bars went down at the same rate and just stopped at one. I have never seen anything like that. Bunch of one HP bandits, man. Just going crazy. But from here, expanded force is gonna be our in our best interest. And you know what? I'm just going to oh I'm choosing new eruption. Do I end up swapping you? No, I think I just erupt regardless. I think I just erupt regardless. And they just cancel battle. Once her Necrozma gets set up. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Wanna know to get things started. Hot start for your boy in match number one. We're moving on to our second match, and we're going up against a Lunala team. Now, Lunala is one of those Pokemon that I haven't showcased yet in Regulation G. I definitely got a team coming up for you guys. We're actually almost done showcasing all the restricted Pokemon. We only have, like, one or two more left, maybe three. Not too sure, but this is a Lunala Trick Room team, and I don't mind going in Trick Room. I think we thrive out in Trick Room, so I am going to end up leading the Necrozma of my own. He is Ghost Typing, which is good, so fake out. Not gonna affect it. It's not gonna affect it at all. I could go into NTD as well, and I might end up doing that because then we just stop fake out all around. Which could be beautiful. Could be a lovely scene. And you know what? We are gonna do that. We're gonna go into both of them. We are gonna go into Ursa Luna. And last but not least, we honestly could just go into Blade. Blade's kind of slow, and plus, I really like its moves. It's typing too. Get the skill points for crits to deal with that Archer Ludon. Got Leaf Blade for Primarina and even for Raccoon. I like a Leaf. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. So we'll see how this one plays out here. Again, very slow team that reversion, just like us. We can pop Trick Room if we want, but we don't have to, depending on who they lead. That might be my plan. My plan might just be to go for Follow Me and uh, Meteor Beam, get that special attack boost, start going after it that way. But again, really depends who they're leading. They could lead Lunala. I kind of think they would lead Lunala. Maybe Incineroar too. Incineroar's not a bad lead here. So they're gonna go Primarina and Indeedee. Okay, so I'm hoping they just pop Trick Room, right? I'm kind of hoping they just pop Trick Room. I'm actually, I'm actually just gonna pop Trick Room, to be honest. I'm gonna go Meteor Beam. I'm gonna pop Trick Room myself. I am popping Trick Room myself. I'm gonna go Trick Room with Indeedee because it does have that special defense boost, which is great. And for Necrozma, um, I'm just gonna attack straight up Meteor Beam. And we're both going Psychic Seeds, huh? Double one down with the Psychic Seeds. I love it. I love it. So we'll double down with Psychic Seeds here. We are going to go for a nice, lovely Meteor Beam. And I'm going to send it into the Primarina slot. The Primarina is going to take some damage. We're going to go for the Trick Room here. And we'll see if Follow Me pop out here from ND. So this could be Throat Spray. Could be going for a Hyper Voice. Just looking to get off some nice damage. I don't mind this at all. Meteor Beam going to fly. Sending it across the board. And honestly, with this plus one special attack boost, I might just helping hand this Necrozma and start sending Right? Start sending expanded forces. Makes the most sense. Because this should do some nice damage, which that's nice damage. This seems gonna set a rain dance up. I I, I don't mind that. I mean <laughs> I don't I don't mind you setting up a rain dance. And I get off trick room. So yeah, I mean you could go for follow me. Um I mean your crossma should be slowest on the field at this point. Actually, Pure Marina was slower than you. Pure Marina was slower than you. That could be tough. That could be tough. Pure Marina was slower than you. Up to maintenance, but yeah, I think just going into expanded force is gonna be my play, keeping our typing, and honestly, be just helping hand this. Honestly, be just helping hand this. But looking at Crossman, looks amazing. I love its colors that blue, that blue is just phenomenal. So, out comes another follow me. Indeed, he's just trying to protect its Primarina. I think Primarina is trying to get off some big time damage with Hyper Voice, and you're gonna encore me with the Meteor Beam. That's actually smart. That's actually smart, but now we're we gotta charge up another Meteor Beam. Now I'm sitting here in Encore. Alright. I mean, if you want to play it that way, that's fine. If you want to Encore me. I mean, I could go into the bear. I could go into you. I think we kind of just stay in here. I think, I mean, we, I guess we just throw dies and wings across the board. I guess we just do that. I mean, that's actually pretty smart. Encore me into Meteor Beam. So I'm only attacking every other turn. But I keep getting these special attack boosts. So once I get out of this, the damage could be real nice. Moonblight's going to fly here. We end up soaking decently well. Meteor Beam going to fly across. I'm still Encore Beam for probably one more turn. I don't want to swap the Necrozma, so I might just follow me out, to be honest. I might just follow me out here while I charge up these Meteor Beams again. It hasn't been going to do pretty much nothing. Um, I do have Leaf Blade in the back end with Glade. That's kind of why I like Glade. 
He's gonna go into a Tinor, who we can't fake out with, which is which is nice. Could go for knockoffs, all that good stuff. But I mean, I'm just charging up another meaty beam, and I'm setting it this way because I'm still encored. And then we'll just go into a follow me because I want to protect the crossman at this point. Gotta protect that Pokemon. But that encore again was really good because we honestly, I, we probably would just win the match after just expanding forces and helping hands being plus one. Would have worked really well. But I like our backup Pokemon for the ones that they have out on the field right now. So Moonblast gonna fly here. We soak this all day. I mean, Knockoff could fly through here, and Meteor Beam is going to start charging. We're charging Meteor Beam. We are charging Meteor Beam. He's gonna go for Knockoff. Can you soak this? You can. Awesome. Beautiful. We love that. We love that. Now my Encore is gone. I'm stuck in Meteor Beam though, and I'm just gonna go for another Follow Me here. Just one more Follow Me, just to dodge Prima Arena's move. If Incineroar does not Thrasize here, this Meteor Beam is just knocking this thing out. It's just taking it out, no problem. Super effective, plus two. And from here, I could pop another Trick Room. I got options. I definitely have a bunch of different options that I can use. Let's see. So no Terra Pops out here. We love it. We love it. So follow me. He's going to fly again. Just protecting our Necrozma. Hyper Voice going to do... Do it doesn't in effect. My Necrozma? Oh, it's still normal. You're not Liquid Voice? You're not Liquid Voice. That's kind of weird. You're not Liquid Voice. But hey, Meteor Beam going to fly here. We're going to say bye-bye to Incineroar. Get it on out of here. And I believe Trick Room might end here. I believe Trick Room might end. And the rain's gone. Cool, so rain already down. Trick Room is done. Um, that's gone as well, the terrain. So everything just ends on that turn. But I mean, going into Glade here is not bad. I might end up Terrasalizing Glade. Just so we can dodge this fairy move, right? Moonblast looking a little scary. But honestly, you should be faster than Prima Arena here. You should be faster than Prima Arena. Right, because Prima Arena is slower than my Necrozma. And you're faster than my Necrozma. So, yeah, I think not popping Trick Room might be the play. I'm going to Terrasalize you in the water. That's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to Terrasalize you in the water. I'm going to send a Leaf Blade over here. So they have a slow team, a real slow team. So the Trick Room might have not actually helped us. But we're going to Terrasalize in the water just to deal with if they want to send Moon Geist Beam. If we land this Moon Geist Beam, this Lunal is dead. Again, we're plus two. So the damage is just through the roof. So big time Terra putting the water spout on her head. Necrozma ready to roll out here. Get it. Leaf Boy gonna outspeed. Bop bop bye bye Primarina. Get it on out my face. We get a crit too. Thank you Scope Lens. Thank you Scope Lens. Says bye bye to you. And can we outspeed this Lunala? We do. This is a game set match. Come on man. 2-0. This move looks sick too. Just deleting this thing. Love it. So they encored us in the Meteor Beam, which was honestly a solid play, but pretty much just set up our Lunala with plus two on special attack. One-shotting the rest of the team. Another Lunala team coming at you guys. We are 2-0 versus Lunala in the last match. Now we're versing it again with a pretty heavy Trick Room team. So Trick Room versus Trick Room yet again. I mean, they got Lunala. They got King Gambit. They have Ursaluna just like us. Cresselia and P2, two of the top uh, Trick Room setters in the game right now. Furthermore, they have uh, Torkoal, just like us. So I honestly could just go Torkoal and Lilligant here, right? Torkoal, Lilligant, not bad. I mean, just a follow me eruption, or I can just put somebody to sleep. That's looking pretty solid for me. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I think that's going to be great for us, especially with choice specs. I mean, you're probably fire type too, right? Yeah, fire terror. Oh, yeah, we're going into it right now. So they're going to be our Pokemon in the back end. I think we just bring Trick Room. Setters and Trick Room Pokemon, such as Necrozma and Ursaluna. I think that that's our best bet. I really do think that's our best bet. So I'm going to go into the Torkoal Logan lead. I actually haven't used it in a bit. It's so strong, though. It's such a pain to go up against. So we're looking to just send it right here. If they want to try to set up Trick Room, they're going to take some massive damage because I might Terrasalize and put the fire on Torkoal just for that extra damage boost. It's ridiculous. It honestly is. Let's see who they end up leading here. It is going to be Ursaluna and Cress. I think we just I think we just send it, right? I think we just go after you. Eruption into Terra. I, I think that's our best bet. I could go for close combat in you, but you know what? We're, we're just gonna send it. Eruption. Torkoal's sending it. Fire flying everywhere. Like a volcano erupting. Like a volcano erupting. They're sitting here like, oh my lord, they led this. <laughs> They're like, oh my lord, Torkoal's getting after it. 
So let's see, they're gonna end up terrestrializing Ursula. Is that normal? It's gonna be a fairy turn, which is not crazy. I mean, I don't I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I mean, maybe you thought I was going for close combat, which I was actually kind of thinking of doing that, but I mean you can't beat an after you eruption play. But now we're putting a little chandelier on my Torkoal. Love it. All the candles. All the candles in the world. And after you should, should fly here, right? Correct? Helping hand. Oh, you go for helping hand. It's, that's fine. That's fine. You're going to go for helping hand. No trick rooms out here. I'm going for after you. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. Torkoal took to the kind of offer. <laughs> Eruption flying. How much damage is this doing? Torkoal getting after it. Thank you, Torkoal. Thanks for playing. That's going to be a 3-0 perfect record. Thanks for playing. I'm spamming this. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around today. Not playing around with this Trick Room team. I feel like Trick Room teams are so easy to play. They're so easy because the Pokemon on Trick Room teams are ridiculously strong. They're just super slow. So once you figure out ways around it, like setting Trick Room, like going for air for you, your Pokemon just thrive out. And a lot of teams don't counter it. But guess what, guys? We're going for air for you. And we are erupting again. We are just sending it. And I can see him canceling match after this. Come on, man. That's too easy. <laughs> That's too easy. That's too easy. Bye bye, Chris. P2, you might survive this. Let's be honest here. You do. You can pop trick him. You can do whatever you want. But guess what I'm doing next turn? You guys are never going to believe what I'm doing next turn. You guys are never going to believe it. But he ends up going for Ice Beam. Which, guess what? I have Focus Sash. And now you're not going to believe what I'm going to do next turn. You are not going to believe what I'm doing next turn. You're not going to believe it. You are not going to believe what I'm going to be doing next turn, guys. Not going to believe it. I'm actually going to be putting Lunala to sleep. now. I'm kidding. We are going for after you. And <laughs> we are going for eruption again. Wrap it up. He ends up going for wide guard. Hold up. This match ain't over yet. I should have went for the sleep powders. You went for wide guard. You son of a biscuit. So chances are P2's just ice beaming down, uh... Probably just ice beaming down Logan. Hold up, we got a match now. Wide guard threw me for a curveball. Really did. Are you ice beaming again? You little duck. You son of a ducky. Alright. So you can go for another wide guard if you would like to. That's just up to you. That's totally up. But from here, we are just going to go into you. And I'm just going to meteor beam down this P2, right? Meteor Beam gonna fly to finish you off. We are choice into eruption, so I'm gonna send it again. And if you don't want a wide guard, then we send an eruption. <clears throat> Let's see. Moon Guys Beam gonna fly here. That's fine. The Moon Guys Beam across the board. You should soak. You don't soak. Okay. Match is actually coming close. Recover's gonna fly here. And can eruption KO you? It should, yeah. Eruption should KO you. We're still full HP. Okay, so Torkoal just driving out here. But Moon Guys Beam actually dropping my Necrozma in one shot. Which kind of sucks, but we do put him down to half HP. So another Eruption at full HP will KO. So he's kind of forced to just go after my... He's forced to go after my Torkoal here. Let's be honest. He's forced to go after Torkoal. Absolutely forced to go after my Torkoal. Um, we're just going to go for a headlong rush here. I could honestly Sword Dance, but... Let's just stay with the eruption and go for that. Yeah, I was going to say, Meteor Beam could fly here and it could be a problem. Because I was going to go for Sword Dance. I really was. So we're going to say bye-bye Torkoal. And this match actually coming way closer than I thought it would. Super close. I think Headlong Rush should be able to KO. Actually, maybe with without Guts, we might not. We might lose this. We might lose this as if, if this Headlong Rush doesn't KO. It's big time stab damage, but Guts is, just makes this Pokemon 10 times better. Can KO? You do. Okay, cool. So again, this batch coming way closer than I thought it would. That Lunala packing a punch. Real quick video for you guys today. Dominated all three matches. What can I say? What can I say? We had ourselves a day with Dawn Wings to Crossbow. Rocking the Power Herb, dropping Meteor Beams, Moon Guys Beams. I don't even think we use Expanding Force, to be honest with you guys. Not too sure, but you guys seen Expanded Force plenty of times before. Third and final match, we rocked out with a Torkoal and Logan, and we had ourselves a little bit of fun. After you, Eruption Spam. It's always a good time. It's definitely always a good time. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.